as a pulmonologist, I love the lungs. But during my exam, I don't just focus on the lungs, despite what you might think. I need to examine the whole body to get the full clinical picture about what might be causing my patient shortness of breath. For example, starting from the bottom, I'm looking for lower extremity edema. I'm checking for pitting edema because right heart failure, a sign of core pulmonale from lung failure, can manifest as edema. Working my way up, I'm feeling their abdomen. I'm looking for tenderness, especially looking for abdominal distension. Abdominal distension can compress the thorax, leading to shortness of breath. I'm looking at their fingertips for a sign we call clubbing. It's a myth that clubbing is only from emphysema. In fact, it's not from emphysema at all. Clubbing is seen in fibrosis, in cirrhosis, and certain lung infections, and can be readily detected on physical exam. Moving up into the neck, I listen for strider. Strider is a high-pitched sound <gasps> on inhalation that occurs from things like vocal cord dysfunction or upper airway obstruction. And finally, a common cause of cough is post-nasal drip. So I take out my uh, otoscope and I'll look in the back of the mouth, I'll look in the nose, I'll look for inflammation, cobblestoning, and signs of upper airway uh, rhinitis. So the pulmonary exam is not just the lungs, it's the whole body. Stay tuned to the next video to learn more.